Hi guys, this is Millionaire Mark James Weber, aka One on One Pranks, Prank Master, Prank God. I'll be doing a, a little bit of a controversial topic, which is about a former Survivor player named Jeff Varner. Now, as you all know, he played three times and never made the jury. He made the merge once and got voted out twice pre-merge. Here's my thoughts about the whole thing of Jeff Varner. Yes, he did make a mistake outing Zeke as transgender on Survivor, which was Survivor Game Changers, Mamanuka Islands. And he basically outed him where millions of people would know that he's transgender and all that. But I do want to defend Jeff Varner since he is one of my Facebook friends. And just let you know that he is not a bigot in any way. When you go on Survivor, there are a lot of rules. One, you can't touch other people because if you do, you'll get ejected from the game. Look at how Dan Spilo from season 39 got ejected and all that. And uh, you also can't hit a person or do any violence upon person. Now, obviously, Jeff Varner didn't do any of that. Do I think Jeff Varner isn't perfect in life? Of course, he makes a bunch of mistakes on the show. But I really liked him on Australian Out on the Australian Outback Season 2. And I kind of liked him also on Season 31, which was Cambodia's Second Chance. I liked him both those seasons. Season 3, the third time he played, which was Season 34, he was kind of weak in challenges, which I didn't dislike him or anything. I just thought he needed to be voted out for his performances in the challenges. I also thought he was a little bit narcissistic at times. But again, I am Facebook friends with Jeff Farner, and I do honestly think he means his apology when he said he was sorry for outing Zeke as transgender on the show. I'm not saying what he did was cool or right in any ways, because believe me, it wasn't. It clearly was not right for Jeff Farner to out Zeke Smith like that. But what I am trying to get to, to tell you is what the bottom line I'm trying to tell you is, is he is not a bigot in any ways. All he did was ask the question, why haven't you told the tribe you're transgender? And then he was just trying to get Zeke or Ozzy voted out. But it was a he was trying to play strategically, but he played too hard where it got to the point where it was kind of personal and where it didn't really become strategy. He was unaware that he was actually outing him in front of millions of people. He thought everyone had already knew that he was transgender. So when he realized that America didn't really know, he was kind of surprised that people in his hometown didn't know or anything because he kept it completely to himself. It's not right what he did, but I do kind of understand that he was trying to stay in the game and trying to win a million dollars. For someone who's autistic like me, if he had outed me as autistic and everyone had already known, like they already do, that I do have autism, he would just be trying to play the game. Because if I made Final Three and I announced that I was autistic in front of a jury, the jury might as well vote for the person who is in the minority of autism or vote for the trans person who played a really great game. So I think that's what Jeff Varner was trying to do, was just explain to people if he makes final three, he wins, which is Zeke Smith, that is. That if he makes final three, he wins the game. He was trying to get him voted out by what he said about Zeke being transgender. I think he overdid it 
which wasn't right in any way, but I do want to defend him saying that he's not like a homophobe because he actually cares for people who are gay and transgender because he's gay himself and he argues for the rights of transgender people like he said in the state of North Carolina. Of course, what he did was wrong when he outed Zeke, but I'm not going to say that Jeff Varner is transphobic or homophobic because I really don't think he is. I think he just made a dumb mistake and didn't realize how big of a mistake it really was. If you guys want to hate on me for defending him, that is fine. But I do want to let you know, I'm not the only one that thinks Jeff Farner was sincere about his apologies. I think there are a bunch of other people that think Jeff Farner is sincere about his apologies because he apologized multiple times through not only the game, but he apologized even through Facebook after he after he did the damage. So yeah, I'm just gonna end it there, basically. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from and understand, like, people make mistakes in life, and that's just how life works. You live and you learn from your mistakes. I know what he did was pretty gigantic, but, I mean, come on, he's not, like, the worst Survivor player to have ever played. And he did apologize multiple times through many of his social medias. And he took therapy afterwards, saying, like, how he felt bad and suicidal about what he did. Because he wanted to die because he felt bad about what he did to many of his doctors and therapists. That was said after this show. Anyways, this is Mark James Weber, a.k.a. One-on-One -on -one Pranks, Prank Master, Prank God, signing off. I hope you guys understand my reasoning for why Jeff Varner from Survivor is not a bigot. I hope you guys can understand my reasoning.